accidents in the world. They have coincidence. I have none. Uh, they have accidents. I have none. Uh, in, in God's world, everything is planned, dedicated yes. before the world began, including my Savior. And uh, uh, this morning, Brother Shulton and I visited a church in the city, and uh, we uh, uh, we walked in the door, and this place was having meeting, and the pastor, I didn't know him, but it was the same name, Empowerment Christian Center. And I walked in the door, we sat down, and Brother uh, Sean and I were sitting there, and this pastor said, I see pastor, uh, Apostle Marlowe come in. He said, uh, uh, the apostle of the city is here. Uh, we, uh, uh, we, we are glad to see this apostle. I, I thought, where did I meet you, and how do I know you? Uh, but, uh, you know, when you hung around a place 50 years, like I have this place, I suppose many people get to know you. Uh, but he said, uh, I want to prophesy to you. And he walked back to me in the crowd, took me by the hand, laid his hand on me, and he said, I see five new works being established under your ministry. I see uh, you being blessed to the Lord. Uh, your days are not over. Your days are not past. Your days are not through. Rise up, man of God, and preach the gospel. Praise the name of the Lord. I never met the man, but God used the man, and certainly used it to encourage me. Now let me tell you something, God, I said last night, you know, be careful, familiarity breeds contempt. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. You can be with where God wants you to be. You can be in the place where God wants you to be. You can be around where God wants to lead you, but familiarity will breed contempt in your spirit and, uh, until finally, finally you will not know that you had the pearl of great price and it was hid in a field all the time waiting for you to pick it up and hide it again in your spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. I thank God. I thank God that God is working everywhere in some manner right now. Can you give him a praise? Amen. 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 So I thank the Lord for that. And then uh, if you're interested in the Tabernacle Bible College, which we're forming, the first classes will start uh, the 24th of August, will be a two-year school where there will be uh, accreditation sought in the future, and after two years, uh, uh, they, those who complete that two-year journey with us in faith and the Bible school are consistent, faithful, and learn and grow in that school, they will be uh, put in ministry in some field of labor in ministry uh, because they are servants of the Lord coming through that school to learn how to reap the harvest that is before us in these last days. If you have a special offering uh, to give to that, you may do so because, and if you want to be in that school, uh, see the, us here at the church office and we'll, we'll get you registered for that time uh, of that learning and that growing in Christ. Uh, I put a little thing in there about the offering of the church because I said it will be easy for you to be unresponsive because this offering is worship and God must talk to your heart. God must tell you what to do with everything you receive in your life and where it goes and how to handle it. You can easily spend it on other things other than giving it to God and giving it in the place where he wants it to be. Here's two offering baskets. They're in worship. They're part of our uh, journey of faith. Uh, God talk to your heart and God deal with you in giving. Uh, I put in there, I'd like to see $20,000 raised in the church here. My God is a large God. My God is a mighty God. My God is a big God. I ask uh, each uh, 100 families commit $200, not as a pledge, but because God speaks to you, deals with your heart, and that's $20,000, $200. I said this, uh, $200 is spent before you know it. I spent $53 the other night to go out and eat a meal, uh, to sit down and consume a meal that was gone, uh, and just uh, my wife and I and a guest, it was gone like that. Um, uh, it's God gives us what we have. Let us be careful 
that we give it back to him. That's between you and God. I am going to spend in that place and say, Lord, here is mine because I know you will bless me. Um, we want you to be aware. I talked to the country of Haiti, missionary giving, uh, yesterday. Uh, there's an offering will be in the hands of Brother George. I'll meet him at Shepherdsville Hill a week from now, Kentucky. And I will give Brother George an offering for Haiti. Uh, they, they have no houses down there. Brother George called me on the phone. He said, Brother Marlowe, when can you come to Haiti? I said, I'll, I'll come if I can stand it physically. Uh, because your churches are up in the mountains. I've got to ride a, a donkey or a burro or a horse. And I can't ride horses and donkeys and burros. You can, but I don't. Uh, amen. One dumped me off in a canal the last time I got on one. Uh, but, but uh, you know, I can do it. Let, let me, I snag it, didn't I? I can do all things through Christ. Including, uh, if I can give this offering, I can ride a horse. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm going to stop. Uh, pardon me for being negative. I'll never do that again. I can ride a horse, a burro, or a donkey, one way or another, sideways, saddle-wise, or backwards. Uh, but God can let me do it. Praise the name of the Lord. So I told Brother George, I said, I'd like to go to Haiti. He said, Brother Marlowe, I want you just to see the devastation we have. Our people are sleeping out in the open. They have no homes. Our congregation, they have no, here's a man from Haiti, he knows I'm telling the truth. He said, uh, they cook their meals out in the open. They have no house to go into. Their houses are torn down. But he said, we are, in, we are experiencing the greatest revival we have ever experienced in Haiti. He said, God is blessing. He said, if the Lord had to take our houses to give us this kind of revival, then let him do that. I said, Lord, let me just give so I can give and give again. So next Monday I'll take a missionary offering out of what's given here and, and give it to him uh, and along with the others in Guatemala. We just gave an offering down there and they just had an earthquake. We want to pray for Sister Cassandra uh, that's down there for the Edgar's also down there, I understand. Uh, uh, that there's a, a, not an earthquake, a volcano. And uh, there's ash all over the city of Guatemala. Uh, it, uh, they have to go inside. They can't breathe. And then they have a storm, didn't they? And now the, the, the hurricane is brewing down there. And there's floods washing out the roads going into Guatemala City. Uh, they're not sure. Cassandra is not sure how she's going to get back up. But I know her mother down there is praying she'll get back here soon one way or another. And I believe, let's pray for Cassandra right now. Let's pray for Edgar down there, that God will help them, and God will watch over them in Guatemala. That's one of our churches in Guatemala City. We just took an offering down there. So what you're, I'm saying what you're giving here, and it's very easy for you to say, let my brother or let my sister do it. Let, let my brother or my sister do it. But God will bless you if you worship in giving. If you worship in giving, I, every time I write a check now, I, I offer the Lord a praise and a prayer. I say, Lord, I will give until there's no more to give. I will bless you until there's no more to bless you with because I am not afraid that God will take care of me. Um, I, went, I took my dog to the veterinarian the other day and uh, has an itch on the little back of the Pomeranian. That guy said, uh, I think she'll be better after some pills and medicine. And then he handed me a bill for $147. And there's $200 I spent in two visits. Let me tell you something. $200 from you to God is a small amount. God will bless you, and God will bless you again. I'm, I don't receive pledge offerings. You let the Lord deal with you. You got an envelope. Brother Richard, you have plenty of offering envelopes back there. You can make it. You can make it um, a market a special offering, missionary giving, or however you want to do it. Praise the name of the Lord. Monday, we're going to be together and have a great time yes. at 11 yes. o'clock out on 70. Praise the name of the Lord. I expect to see you all there. Uh, somebody bring a baseball bat, a ball, a kickball, or something where we can exercise. Somebody saw me on um, YouTube uh, preaching up in Georgia. And... Uh, uh, they, I guess it was YouTube, was it, or, or my, my only, Space, or MySpace, or something only, like that. Anyway, they YouTube. saw us, and saw me, and uh, 
they said, Brother Marlowe, we really 